Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel here at Family Reporties. I hope you all are having a great day. Uh, today is a special video because we are sharing uh, Macy's litter. And with Macy's litter, obviously like most of our litters, all of them are picked. So it's gonna be selection day this Saturday and I wanted to do a quick YouTube video with you guys uh, sharing this litter of puppies from Macy and maybe it'll help you kind of uh, get to know them a little bit better. Um, all of them are chocolate and they are pretty similar. Um, as far as you know looks and personality, but maybe with this video We're gonna help you kind of understand a little bit more about each one and help you pick your next Portuguese water dog So again, congratulations to those that have made a, a deposit on some of our puppies here at Family Porties um, Well, you know a lot of our pups are adopted out a lot of like probably ahead of, ahead of time just depending on the litter But um, yeah, you're gonna get a really good chocolate Portuguese water dog if you have it um, already so Let's go ahead and get to know this litter. Again, this is Macy and Porter's um, litter. They were born on the 26th of November and uh, they're doing super good. I think they're around seven weeks or old right now, um, close to that, six to seven. So let's go ahead and get started. So since they do look pretty similar, we did microchip them and you guys will get, um, you know, have the, mic the puppy microchip when you receive it. So this here is Minnie. Um, again, maybe a couple of the differences might be the white on the body. So I'm going to talk about the, where the white's at as well on the puppy. With Minnie here, um, she has white on the chest. And that's pretty much it. No, none on the tail. Um, a little bit on the chin. And as far as it, watching her interact and everything, her temperament seems to be pretty even keel. Uh, kind of, she's not, isn't kind of lazy right now. She's pretty, um, um, I'd say, good personality. And pretty calm, collective, compared to some of the other ones. So she's just chilling here, compared to this one, who is the smallest one in the litter, and we'll get to that one next. But she seems pretty calm, and would definitely make a great girl pick. I'm not sure, there's a lot of girls in this litter, so you'll have plenty to choose from. So this is Minnie. She's pretty, I'd say about the same size as our standard size, um, compared to the others in size. So really solid, beautiful, love her nice filled out body. She's got that nice round, Good head on her. Um, just a beautiful Portuguese water dog. So that is Minnie. Next we got a boy. And this one here is Max. So Max is one of the littlest ones in the litter. I think he'll still reach the 40 pound range full grown. And he has some of the more beautiful markings. A lot of the, um, you know, having the socks on the feet on the face, on the chest is really, really beautiful. Um, he does have a little white tip on his tail as well. And normally the, the smaller ones in any type of litter are gonna be some of the more energetic, rowdy ones. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. So he has some spunk to him for sure. And he would make a great pick for anyone, especially if you're looking for maybe a smaller puppy and a great addition to the family. So that's Max. A lot of them right now are just clonker down, sleeping. <laughs> and again, most of them, it's not too big a difference in personality wise. So it's, I understand if it's gonna be kind of a challenge to pick, but we'll do the best we can for you. Next we have Mocha and she is a female and she has three out of four of her, or all four of her paws are pretty symmetrically uh, marked with the uh, white socks on the tips. Has a nice white on the chest and on the um, chin. So, again, a beautiful chocolate Portuguese water dog, and we'll make a great little family pet. Yeah, you guys are all conquered out now. We did pictures earlier, playing, and now they're tired. Okay, <laughs> this one here is snoozing. We'll go to this one next. Here. Molly. So this little one is Molly. She just woke up from a little nap. Again, very symmetric in the paws as far as little white tips on the front and on the back and on the chest. And yeah, you were definitely a sweetheart. Yeah. You know we're doing a YouTube video with you. That's why you're probably camera shy. <laughs> But definitely she's gonna be a playful. They're all playing around really good here earlier. Now they're just ready for their 
afternoon naps. <laughs> uh, shoot. Oops. And this one here is 48. So here we got another female. This is May. Her front two paws are pretty much chocolate, no white socks, um, but her two back paws are. Has a little, not too much white on the chest, but has some. So this here is May. Sorry for waking you up, May. <laughs> Super beautiful that her, obviously Porter and Macy are both chocolate adults. So, you know, we expected them to be pretty much all chocolate and couldn't be more pleased with them. None of them have any hernias or anything. They all seem I'm gonna do really, be doing really good, super healthy. So again, any one of these will be a perfect uh, match for you. And uh, you know, obviously gender probably is gonna be the biggest decision I'd say um, for most people. So, did we do this one already? Let's see, this one was 51. So this here is Mary. So Mary is another female. She might be the most chocolate out of them all. Uh, her back two paws do have a little white on the tips. Sweet little girl. Sorry for waking you up as well. Alright. <laughs> you guys are sleepy right now. Okay, next we have Muffin. So another female. Uh, Muffin seems to be the biggest girl, I believe, out of the litter. And she is pretty much completely solid chocolate. I don't know if there's one little white spot on her. Wow, you are a beautiful pure chocolate puppy. So, no white on muffin. So you must be a brownie, maybe not a muffin. <laughs> but she's definitely gonna be a sweetheart. And like I said, one of the more bigger ones. She's super laid back, super chill. And it looks like Mary is waking up, ready to play and tag. Uh, Will, your tail is wagging. So, that's good, Mary, good girl. What a sweetheart. Such a good litter. Now, I know we missed Moose, and I think Maple is who we're missing. There's and one directly behind you that you're basically sitting. Wow, I didn't even know you were um, <laughs> And there's also one over there. Yeah. I don't know where the tenth one is, though. Big litter. I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. All right, here was Maple, one of our other females. Not quite the smallest, but on the smaller end. And she has her back two paws white, chest white. And she was taking a little snooze as well. You're the one I was about sitting on. Okay. All right, one is over here. Maybe this is moose. Yep, I think this is a big moose. Here's moose. And I don't know where the other one goes. Is the other one under the couch again? Might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, eight, nine. So there's five there. Yeah. So we'll try to find the other one then. But here's Moose. He's the big boy out of the litter. He's the one that's been hogging all the food, huh? Yeah, you are. I don't even have to scan you. I'm pretty sure it's Moose. Let's see. 1042. Yep, that's Moose. So tens, to, not always, but the bigger they are, they tend to be the more laid back. So um, he is pretty chill. He's, so if you're maybe looking for a more chill, but you know, in general, the Portuguese water dog is gonna be more active puppy. You can see the little ones coming back. <laughs> and the smallest one seems the more energetic. And I always say it's because the smaller they are, they're always trying to fight for the milk. And that kind of affects their personality at a young puppy age. The bigger they are, they don't gotta fight for it. And they kind of, they get kind of lazy. So. Hour later, no, it only took like two minutes to find him or her. And yeah, she is the biggest girl. And it's Millie. So Millie is the biggest girl. And again, she was behind the couch, laid back, just like, let me sleep. <laughs> and her belly is full right now. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Did you just want to snooze? Yeah, you're a good girl. And she has white on the back two toes on the chest and yeah you can see she's a she's a beaut she is a beaut good girl so no matter who you get guys 
I think you're all going to be happy if you get a any one of these here. Again, personality, it's hard to say at this age and you know, we do the best we can. It's and obviously they all look very similar. So if you're watching this video and you're trying to help decide to make a pick again, you're not going to go wrong either way. And I know you're going to get a happy, healthy Portuguese water dog and going to be a part of your family for a long time. So hopefully you guys enjoy this litter update video uh, for Macy's Litter and uh, definitely they're doing amazing, doing good. I can't wait to hear your picks this Saturday and uh, hopefully you guys have a great day. Thanks and again be sure to follow our Instagram if you haven't, follow our YouTube channel for more awesome content like this. So thanks and have a great day.